you know that you're being an asshole today? Adding to my stress. So everywhere just smells of dog poo. What a miserable old twonk. this morning got not a scrap of makeup on <laughs> i've just gone to uh, collect maui from matt's because i'm looking after her today he's on a big trip or something um and he is very kindly looking after toby while i'm in india so very much want to <laughs> keep him sweet but i'm really looking forward to taking them both out actually um toby has to stay on the lead still which is really rubbish but only for a little bit longer not too much longer um so yeah i'm going to take them probably up to the castle because the weather is glorious today and I really fancy getting some air in my lungs so that is what I'm going to be doing on my lunch break how are you all this week I hope you enjoyed last week's weekly vlog um I haven't edited it yet I'm just on my way home to start doing that now it's really weird isn't it future future yous and future me's and all this kind of crap um I don't know what I'm saying I've had a coffee this morning <laughs> so I'm a little bit wired oh no I also forgot my sunglasses Whew, it's bright Charging up the drone. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I don't think I'm gonna to get to fly it though today because it started to chuck it down. I also cannot figure out this bloody remote control. Um, and this is my lunch, which looks very professional. Has some leftover sauce from the moussaka, so I kind of did a vegetarian carbonara thing. Looks good enough to me. <laughs> It's time to take this little man for his little checkup on his operation last week. He seems to be doing fine, so fingers crossed he will get um, the all clear. And then I'll probably take him out for a little bit of a walk with Mary because they've been so good this afternoon. I've hardly got anywhere near what I needed to get done because there's just loads of stuff come up for like India with the e visa and all that, which is an absolute nightmare. And just loads of piddly little jobs that kind of get in the way of doing the big jobs. So yeah, feeling a bit stressed <laughs> but we're gonna power through and breathe and it'll be fine it's fine it's just monday just typical monday <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm about to go mad. <laughs> so uh, my website went down about two hours ago and I managed to get it up and running thanks to some help from my server, my host. Uh, but now they've given me like a massive list of stuff that needs to be optimized um, because it's triggered something off in the website, I don't know. So I've just been trying to figure it all out and it is just like gobbledygook to me. I have been doing this for 10 years now and I am self-taught and self-made and everything, but some are like all of the, the, the HTML, cache, gzip compression, all that kind of crap. It just goes straight over my head and it makes me very stressed whenever I have to sit down and do it. So I've done as much as I think I can figure out for now. Uh, I realise now it is quarter past nine. I haven't eaten dinner. It's probably uh, the reason why I'm so ratty. <laughs> um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make myself some dinner, which is a frozen chocolate potato and baked beans. Yes, it's that time of the month. <laughs> Not that time of the month. The broke time of the month. Not like this is a random cure for lady time. Uh, no, it's <laughs> just 
I haven't really got anything that I can cook in the house, so it's quick, it's easy, it's semi healthy, I'm done. Uh, and then I might get in the bath because my head feels like it's gonna explode, if I'm honest. But at least the doggos are nice and quiet and they're both sort of chilling out. Um, and actually, Mary just gave me a lovely cuddle, which was really nice. Uh, Toby didn't, he was just on the floor, not bothered, not bothered by me and my stress, are you? Probably because I chopped your balls off. So, yeah. I'm gonna leave it here for the night because I feel if I carry on, there'll be a big rant. Uh, I just need to eat something <laughs> and then relax before I go to bed. The joys of being a one woman band. <laughs> just pop my coding hat on that doesn't exist because I'm shit at it. until 2 a.m. trying to fix her stuff and still didn't fully manage it. What are you doing? Dogs. They're driving me mad. Everybody's driving me mad. Everything's driving me mad this morning. So I haven't hardly had any sleep and I haven't had my tea yet. So stay out of my way. I wrote a blog post yesterday that I'm actually quite proud of. Um, it's called How to Get Back to Being Healthy When You're Stuck in a Rut. Um, and there's some really really simple tips in there um, that I use on how to get back to it because I don't know about you but it, normally it's just that sort of first two three maybe four weeks the first sort of month of getting back to being fit and healthy and eating well and going to the gym and stuff um, that are the most daunting because you kind of think oh my god I used to be able to do so much more or I'm just still craving all the crap from Christmas all that kind of stuff um, so I put together my top tips and I think it's a really good post and I've had some great feedback on Instagram from you guys so thank you um, but yeah it's on the blog so if you just go click the links down there it'll be under the lifestyle category or it'll probably still be in the featured category take a look at it give it a read see what you think if you like it please share it with your friends it means a lot um, but yeah I'm quite pleased with it so I thought I'd let you know and sort of funnel you over there <laughs> I think today is going to be a no makeup day and uh, I'm going to try and get to the gym at some point as well so I won't want to bother washing my hair until I've gone there. <laughs> That's my excuse for looking like this all day. Oh. Hello, hello. Something about vertigo. I can't remember the words. Um, hi guys, it is 10 to 8 on Tuesday evening. The vlog has on live tonight so i hope you like it um and i'm still working like a like a headless chicken <laughs> um yeah still still just cracking on cracking on i've got one more thing to do it's not too bad actually well it is because it's 8 p.m and i shouldn't be working but it's fine um i also kind of want to go to the gym at some point but i was sort of putting it off until like people had left because it's that time of year isn't it where everybody's at the gym so i thought if i go later on in the evening it'll probably be better anyway so i'll crack on with that in a mo uh also i am just preparing for my patreon little um skype date that we have once a month for um people who are pledging ten dollars or more so you get me looking like this tonight you looky looky people and um, that'll be in a bit i reckon i have just got enough time to put my dinner on <laughs> just before we start that so i'll probably be munching on salmon while i'm chatting to you sorry guys but yeah that's pretty much my evening so i, I think i'm gonna sign up here and just crack on with the last little bits i need to do do a little skype date and then head to the gym and i will hopefully be a little bit more human in the morning because i'm I'm just not really there today, guys. <laughs> Welcome to insomnia. <laughs> it is currently half past midnight 
and I've just got back from the gym. So I didn't finish work until about 11 and I was absolutely wired when I put my laptop away. So I thought, do you know what, sod it, I'm gonna go to the gym because uh, it's open 24 hours and I thought maybe I can knock myself out so I can sleep. Definitely did that. <laughs> I am, uh, wow, I am pooped. And my Fitbit told me that I nearly died at one point. So, you know, we've, we've done some good fat burning. Um, and I do feel quite tired now, which will be nice. So hopefully I can switch off. So yeah, I've, um, I actually weighed myself today because I've been back in the fitness regime for about two weeks now. Um, and I actually wrote a blog post on it the other day, which has gone down really, really well. You guys love it. It's, um, it's with my easy tips on how to get from like literally out of a rut to start thinking about fitness again. So it's not like hardcore fitness tips, it's just if you are in the same position that I was where you just can't even get the motivation to to think of the word gym, let alone have the motivation to do several spin classes a week. Um, it's just some like really simple, bog standard, easy tips to sort of get you back in the mind frame of wanting to get healthy. Um, anyway, one of those tips is don't weigh yourself uh, for the fer for the first like sort of two to four weeks. Um, but uh, so I, I held off weighing mine. Um, however, I just I was editing the vlog today. I'll be completely honest with you guys, and I'm just doing this because you know honesty is good, and hopefully it will help someone else. But I was just editing the vlog today, and I just thought, God, I look I look big. I don't I don't like the don't like the f word, um, but I looked. I was uncomfortable with the way I looked and I've figured over the years that I've ten I tend to have like a bit of a spectrum with my weight of where I feel comfortable and where I don't and normally it's when I seem to hit around the 11 stone mark bearing in mind I'm five foot six and a half um, when I tend to hit around 11 stone that's when I start to feel uncomfortable weighed myself tonight 11 stone three pounds so um yeah, I don't agree with weight. I do it for like the, uh, cause it's got a body max, um, a body fat percentage thingy on it in my scales at the gym. So I tend to go by my um, body fat percentage normally. Cause obviously that, you know, weight is dependent on muscle and all that stuff. But I haven't got any muscle at the moment and I am officially around the weight where I start to get uncomfortable. So yeah, I don't feel sad cause I knew I was gonna be around that weight. Um, it's actually made me feel a bit better because it means that my mind is around the right sort of weight I thought I was. Does that make sense? Um, yeah, so I'm ready to get back to it. I got myself a little banana and frozen berry smoothie. Don't ask me how I make them. I just chucked a banana in. I got a handful of frozen berries and poured some soya milk in. If it's too thick, add a bit more soya milk and blitz it. Um, yeah, that's what I do. Toby is desperate to get some of it. I think it's the berries you can smell. Or it's my sweaty wrist that he keeps trying to lick. Earning interest on your balance and cash back on selected household bills. It's like a sneaky five with an old... Just a printer. <laughs> You are silly. Good morning guys. Well, afternoon. Crap, it's half past one. Uh, so I've just been busy doing loads of crappy little tasks this morning that need to be done but take up so much time. And uh, Bumble have uh, put some extra work on us as well. So I've been sort of scrabbling around trying to get that done. Trying to sort out my bloody visa for India. It's just, I'm having a little bit of a stressful week. So if I look stressed and a little bit tired, it's because I am. I'm not sleeping and I'm just very, very, very irritable <laughs> right now. I'm just, I feel like I'm on the edge of a mental breakdown and I just need to try and stay calm. There's been several bouts of tears today already. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I'm trying to hold it together, but I'm just uh, doing some frozen vegetables to have with like leftover cold brown rice and some salmon for lunch. And then I'm gonna take <clears throat> idiot out because he's driving me mad and then uh, if I get a brisk walk on that'll constitute a little bit of exercise um, and then the plan is come back get showered wash my hair um, 
and try and start filming something although I think I'm gonna have lost so much light because the weather is vile today so many grey clouds and it's been pelting it down all morning this storm that we've got in the UK it's pretty miserable so I might actually swap my days around and film tomorrow morning instead and then today do all the written stuff that I was gonna do tomorrow so yeah we need to adapt at times like this what do you think Toby you just your nose is very wet thank you for that do you know that you're being an asshole today? Adding to my stress. Is that enough? Yeah, well, I've had enough of you too. All right? All right. showered and put a little bit of makeup on and washed my hair and I'm feeling a little bit better within myself. Um, done pretty much everything I can do on work for today. Uh, so I'm going to go and make Lucy tea. We're going to have something healthy. I found like this recipe. Oh, forgot the corn flour. Never mind. Uh, I found a recipe for a really nice sort of healthy chicken stir fry thing with some rice. Um, so we're going to do that because it's nice and cheap and healthy um, and chat through bumble stuff for the rest of the month because uh, oh they forgot to phone me they meant to phone me at half four I never got that phone call just realized it's half six now quarter to seven <laughs> wow everybody's doing great today um, yeah so she's she works with me on some of the bumble stuff as my little local bee assistant um, so yeah we're just going to talk through the task and what we need her to do for the rest of this month and what we're go going to be doing moving forward. So it's kind of like a working dinner thing. Um, but I also get the chance to catch up with Luce, which is really nice. So, yes. Good morning, everybody. How are you? Happy Thursday. So I've woken up in a little bit of a better mood today. However, just had a bit of a shenanigan with Parcel Force. So um, one of my Bumble events is tomorrow, one of them Saturday. And we are, we always get sent merchandise to give out to people at the events and stuff. And they're normally really cool. So I'm really excited for these months merch, especially because one of them is dog related stuff because of the dog walk. Anyway, they sent that through. To be fair, they've sort of left it a little bit late <laughs> sending it through. However, it was meant to come today and uh, the event's tomorrow, so everything's fine. So I've been up since seven, just in case parcel force knock on the door because they're normally really, really good. They're the best ones, in my opinion. I get a lot of parcels. They're the best ones. Sitting in the living room, answering my emails, drinking my tea, come back to the toilet, notice a little slip on the floor. They've not even knocked on my bloody door because you can hear that door throughout the entire flat. Not even knocked on my door, just gone eh, and left a slip. Furious. <laughs> so I've just been on the phone to Parcel Force and thankfully the driver is going to be turning around and coming to re-deliver it this morning. So at least we're going to be able to get our hands on it because I'm out this afternoon and uh, the event starts. Well, I've got to be there at 9.30 tomorrow. So there's no way to re-deliver it tomorrow. However, we have fixed it. <laughs> the wrap of Eximili Rex at like half past eight in the morning <laughs> has fixed things. But uh, yeah, thank you very much Parcel Force to actually sorting it. But to the driver who didn't knock on the door, do your job. Ah, oh, so I feel a little bit shaken up actually. Parcel Force was so good and they got asked the driver to come back and I was really, really grateful. So I opened the door and I was like, oh my goodness, thank you so much for coming back. I'm really grateful. This parcel is so important um, for a job that I'm doing tomorrow and he just went why did you phone up and complain about me I was like sorry it was like you phoned up I knocked on your door you phoned up and told them I didn't when you lied it's like well I I I honestly did not hear the door I've been up working on emails in here as I, I, I literally I stood us to the side and I said that you can see straight through this door's really loud I honestly I didn't hear you knock at all it was like I heard your dog bark it's like Right, well, I didn't hear you on the door. I said, I'm really sorry. Um, I really appreciate you coming back. You know, we managed to catch you in time, blah, blah, blah. And he just shoved his little thing at me to sign. He just went, when you phone up and complain, there's consequences. I was like, well, I'm, I'm, look, I'm really sorry. I, I've said thank you so much for coming back round and I was really polite to him on the phone. And he just snatched the thing off me and just went, fine and got back in his car and I just shouted, I was like, well, have a good day, thank you so much. And he just completely ignored me. Oh, it's like proper shaking me up. It's just really not nice. Like, I get it. It's frustrating for him. And if he did knock, fine, but I didn't hear him. And 
I get parcels every single day, you can always hear that door. In fact, it's gone off when I've been vlogging before and you guys hear how loud it is. I didn't hear it. They, he managed to come back. Look, it's not the end of the world. I was really polite. I didn't sort of go, uh, your driver did this on the phone. There's the door, funnily enough. <sighs> that wasn't even the door, that was just things going through the letterbox and I managed to hear it from there. So I'm sorry, you did not not make. That is the end of the, that's the end of it, you didn't. Because if I can hear the bloody letterbox, then I can hear someone knocking on the door. <sighs> but moral of the story, don't be a prick about it. Ugh. That's really upset me and that's really sort of like shaking me a little bit. He was so intimidating, he was a big guy. When you live on your own, with just a little pathetic puppy for company, <laughs> that was really intimidating, I didn't like that. I think I'm gonna have to, I think I'm gonna phone them and just sort of let them know. Like I get it, it's frustrating for him, but you just, like, it's not like I opened the door and went, where the F have you been, rah rah rah. I opened the door with a big smile, saying thank you so much for coming around, I'm really sorry I didn't hear the door, blah blah blah. What a miserable old twonk. What have you got around your mouth? What have you been eating? I don't even want to know. Right, I am off out for afternoon tea this afternoon, which should be really nice. I'm just heading out with a friend. I'm gonna leave my camera here because I'm not gonna bother myself. I'm just gonna enjoy cake and tea and relax. Had a really good morning this morning. I'm doing my video tutorial and also applying for my India visa, although that is struggling on the photo page, so I'm having a bit of a stress. I've had to just put my computer away, ask a question on the forum, and then think about it later. Um, but yeah, I'm off to go outside and speak to another human, which will be nice. <laughs> Bye. So I've just come back, oh thank you very much. Uh, I've just come back from afternoon tea, which is lovely. However, it's dark now because winter and rubbish weather today. It's gone dark really quickly. I hate it when it does that, when you have like gray skies all day and then it just gets dark super quick anyway. Um, anyway, I've just pulled up at home and some scumbag has let their dog poo on my gravel drive. Um, and not picked it up. Obviously it's dark, so I didn't see it. Just stepped straight into it, didn't I? Um, and it's ruined one of my favourite pairs of Chelsea boots. Yes, they're only from Primark, they're only 15 quid, but it's not the point. Like, it's not the point. I never buy, I hardly ever buy myself new clothes and shoes. And I treated myself to them the other week, and now they're ruined. I've tried, I've scrubbed them with an inch of their life, but they still absolutely stink, so I'm not bringing it back in the house. I'm just... Why? If you have a dog, pick up after your dog. Especially, don't let it poop on private property. Like, it's a private drive. Uh, I'm actually gutted. I'm actually gutted. It's like, proper put me in a really sad mood. Because <laughs> they're just the absolute stink and the whole house stinks. I had to hop into my house. Because <laughs> I, was, I was like, oh, why have I just stood on? Is that like a tea bag or something? Because it felt really squishy. I was like, oh my god. I don't know where that is, and then so I had to hop into the house so I could take my shoe off and get it into the back garden. So everywhere just smells of dog poo. Oh, my bloody water infection's come back. I thought I got away with it a bit too easily last week with my NTD, antidepressants antibiotics kicking in very quickly and getting rid of it very quickly. Um, yeah, it's come back with a vengeance this afternoon, so. Oh, I'm actually gutted because I was supposed to be going to paint pots again this evening with a friend and um, I've had to cancel that. I'm just about to run myself a bath because oh, I'm in so much pain, it's ridiculous. And um, yeah, I'm supposed to be going to like, this black tie event tomorrow and everything and I, if I don't feel better I'm not going to be able to go to that either and I'm about to pay for a ticket and I'm supposed to be going to like support him and stuff. and. Oh, I hate my vagina so much. It seems to be like deja vu of last year, this time last year. I've just, I've been so run down this week and so tired as you guys have seen um, and stressed. So I'm thinking that's the reason why it's come on again. But yeah, as you can see, <laughs> not feeling great about it. Just a little bit sniffly, kind of just, I didn't want to put this in the vlog because I don't want to be starting another year with just illness again, but this is life. This is what happens when you are prone to water infections and it sucks. So um, yeah, I'm gonna run myself a bath and just sit in that and wallow for a little bit. And my house still smells like dog poo. 
Good morning everybody, it's Friday. I'm not gonna say happy Friday because it's not a happy Friday. The dog poo that I told you about last night that ruined my favorite pair of boots. Obviously it was pitch black last night so I couldn't see to go and actually dig through the gravel to find it and pick it up. Completely forgot about it, didn't I? Went out to my car this morning with a load of crap from my Bumble event that I'm going to now, which I'm now going to be late for. Stood in it again in another pair of boots which i hope this time are like fake leather so i've managed to get it off as best as i can i'm trying not to cry because i am absolutely furious i am so angry because they're like and it's all in my car on the like the mat things and everything <laughs> if you have a dog clean up after it this it's like this has now literally ruined two pairs of my shoes made me late for a work event i'm just i'm furious i'm actually furious but then i'm also dangling on the edge of not giving a shit because it's just a bit of a joke really this week this entire week has just been a massive joke so i feel like i'm giving up now well that was a success, thank goodness. Everybody loved it. We had a really, really interesting panel talk on how to take your blog from um, hobby to full time. And I'm actually feeling a little bit better. I've calmed down. Um, Lucy, bless her, I was like having a massive rant to her. And I was like, why can't people be responsible and pick up their dog's poo? And she went round to my house because she was passing to do another dog and picked up the dog poo for me. I love that woman. Um, so yeah, feeling a little bit better and also feeling a little bit more healthier as well. I think my antibiotics are kicking in, so that's really good. I'm gonna pop a two, I'm gonna pay for this first, uh, and then I'm gonna pop to Primark and see if I can find a last minute dress, just in case I feel okay to go later. So I really just don't wanna let Matt down. And yeah, feeling, feeling, feeling good. This was a very interesting event. Learned so much myself as well from the other bloggers. So um, yeah, if you're a blogger and you're in the Midlands, um, keep your eyes peeled, because we're gonna be doing another one of these next month as well. Good morning guys, how are you? Uh, so I was supposed to be in Birmingham this morning doing our little doggy walk for Bumble, but I feel absolutely atrocious. Um, had a lovely time at the event last night, but it got to the point where we'd eaten dinner and I was just sat there and I was in so much pain. And I was doing all these speeches and like the charity auction and stuff and I was just sort of sat there like, I need to go home. <laughs> so I was a bit silly really. I should have listened to my body and stayed in and stayed in the warm and just sort of snuggled up so I am unfortunately paying for it today and I'm in so much pain <laughs> but uh, my antibiotics I'm on the last day of my antibiotics so hopefully although I'm a little bit worried that they haven't like properly kicked in just yet really odd I think it's just because I'm so exhausted from this week everything's just got on top of me um and the weather is absolutely atrocious like proper storm gloria or whatever her name is uh, and a few of the other people dropped out of the bubble thing so basically it would have been me and like three other people so I've just sort of said look let's rearrange it for next weekend where hopefully the weather's going to be a bit better and I'm going to be actually surviving well it's the last thing I want to do is go and drive up to Birmingham and walk around with a dog and I'm not exactly going to be my happy happy hosty self so yeah I've just gone back to bed and you know what I really really needed the sleep I really needed it because oh it feels so much better it's funny isn't it like we just try and power through so much with uh, when really we just need to take a step back and go no our bodies need to rest I, I just have the rest but um yeah Good morning everybody, happy Sunday. I am feeling so much better. There is something to be said for actually taking the time off and letting your body recover. Uh, I'm still not 100% if I'm completely honest, um, but I feel a lot better than yesterday. <laughs> Look at those eye bags, oh, it's been a week from hell. <laughs> <laughs> so glad it's Sunday. Start fresh tomorrow. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I finished my antibiotics now. So we, what we tend to do is we tend to give it uh, like a day or two after you've come off them, and then uh, retest to see if the water infection is still there. Blah blah blah. Um, <clears throat> I told you, season pro at this. <laughs> Got it all in my, in my drawer at home. Uh, and if it is, I'll um, head <clears throat> to the doctor's and try a different load of antibiotics. So I'm hoping that we've absolutely smashed it this time. If I'm completely honest. I don't think it's complete, I don't think it's fully gone, but 
if anybody's ever had a water infection you'll know that that there's you get like this paranoia for like a week afterwards um <clears throat> whether it's still gone or not so yeah anyway that's enough talk about my vagina so today uh we're going into birmingham to uh celebrate lucy's belated birthday because she, we didn't get a chance to celebrate uh in november because she wasn't feeling great so we said you know what let's just pretend it's not your birthday and when you're feeling better we'll celebrate it so that is today so happy birthday lucy <laughs> <laughs> got her present with me in the car uh, and we are going to Harvey Mix to try out their bottomless brunch they very kindly invited us over lovely let's go <laughs> my wonderful wrapping paper <laughs> yeah, know, it matches your card. outfit it matches your outfit <laughs> <laughs> shouldn't want birthday cards they kill trees Just look at all of this food. Oh my goodness, so we've just had the smashed avocado. Oh, so good. It was so good. Then now uh, Lucy's gonna go for a Sunday roast. <laughs> and I'm not sure I really fancy the pancakes. Oh my goodness. So it's 50 pounds for uh, the Harvey Nicks bottomless brunch, which is super for like a special occasion. And you get as much house champagne that you can drink in two hours, which sounds like a challenge to me. It's not a challenge, drink responsibly. We've just been playing the game of guess how many lipsticks I've got in my handbag. <laughs> that is ridiculous. No wonder I can never find anything in the morning. Oh well. <laughs> morning guys. Sorry I didn't finish the vlog off again. I'm terrible at that. Um, so we had an amazing day in Birmingham with the bottomless brunch of Harvey Nicks, which is awesome by the way. <laughs> not cheap so it's a special occasion thing I'd say but oh my goodness it was so good the food was amazing champagne was great what's going on with my hair need the wash today um <clears throat> yeah and then we went for a few cocktails in Bodega which is really nice I haven't been in there for a while so yeah I had a, such a lovely time and then last night I just came and I collapsed because I've been so tired so yeah it was a really nice end to what was a pretty shitty week so hopefully this week's gonna be a bit better um I've woken up feeling a little bit more alive <laughs> than I have been doing the, the past week so fingers crossed we're on the mend um, but yeah I hope you have a wonderful week ahead of you thank you very much for watching um, we've got a few more new patrons as well which is nice so hello to you hope you enjoyed uh, my highlight and contour um, video that went up the other week so yeah having a good feeling good today feeling good so I shall leave it here but thank you very much for watching as always um, and I'll see you next week which is today but don't tell anyone bye Give up, I'm useless at this.